hi everyone welcome to the youtube channel in this video we will see how to use windsurf ai for free so if you're a developer or you just looking for some help in coding then this platform could be really helpful for you and i'll show you how easily you can use it for free so first you have to simply open a browser of your choice i'm using google chrome and there you have to search for windsurf ai once you search for it then you will get different results from there you have to simply click onto this one which is the windsurf editor just simply click onto it and after that you will be onto its website now here you have to download it because you cannot use it on its web browser so for that you have to click on download for windows just simply click onto it and after that it will show you different options based on different PC options so you can choose the one that goes with your system just simply click on download and after that the downloading will start the downloading will take few minutes and once the downloading is done then you have installed it and you will be onto this page first it will greet you by saying welcome to windsurf you have to click on to this option get started so you can start your journey then you can either choose the VS Code option or you can just simply start from scratch as per your preferences. Then from the further options you can choose the VS Code or Vim as per your preferences and then choose the theme of your choice. Then you just have to simply sign up or log in using your account. So simply click on to it and then you will provide your credentials and it will take you to this page. Now on this page, the left side is for the AI part where they have this AI board that we can chat and we can ask it to do our work. So it has two modes, write and chat. Write is one when you will ask it to write any sort of coding, any sort of language, something like that. And the chat is the AI board. You can ask it anything and it will answer to you. You can ask for anything like we do it on the chat GPT. So it's the same you can ask it along with that it has some of the other options that you can see at the bottom of these options you can also try it out these are like the servers it has different servers so you can actually go for different ones if you would like to but i think for the first time if you're using you can just simply skip all these options and just simply start with the write or maybe with the chat in the right you can ask it to write any sort of code any sort of like website page an app or whatever you want it to create you can ask it and after that it will give you work for it that you can deploy and you will get the result so whenever you give it a prompt it will take a while to work on to it and after that you will see work has been done according to what you have asked to it so this is the write mode but if you want to use the chat mode you can literally ask it to teach you anything or maybe if you are stuck in between coding or maybe any sort of technical work you can ask it and it will answer to you it can also help you learn different languages deploy different system of work and you can actually create different sort of website apps softwares with it Another thing is that it comes with different AI models. It has the GPT ones and the other ones. So for that, you can see we have these options. Once you go for it, there are different sort of models. Some of them are paid and some are free. So if you have its free plan, then you may go with the free one. If you go to purchase, then you can go for the subscription ones. Then you can also add different sort of attachment, images, links. For your work and you can also use the mic if you don't want to write so whatever you ask it it will give you information about it and later on you can use it or if you have asked it for your understanding or information so you can get from there so as you can see this is how it work you will literally ask it anything and it answer to you it gives you the code that you can copy and deploy it wherever you would like to you can create websites, apps, software, landing pages, product pages or whatever you would like to with the help of this platform. So that is all about Windsurf. This is how you can use it. You just have to simply go to its website. From there, install it, use its AI board, ask it anything, let it work for you 
and whatever it gives you you can later on use it for your purpose so that was all about windsurf ai i hope you find this video helpful and informative if you are not subscribed yet or you're new to this channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates you can leave a like comment if you have any queries feel free to ask or is there anything else you would like to know you can mention in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching the video till the very end